So there's a lot of things going on in the internet, NFTs and cryptocurrencies and the war and inflation. You got all these things going on. And then Facebook decides to call itself Meta and more and more people are finding out about what this Metaverse thing is. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the five ways to invest in the Metaverse starting right now. Let's look at by definition what it is. Meta means beyond and verse is a little bit of a wordplay on the universe. So beyond the universe, really it's talking about virtual reality. So whether it's a headset or your phone or a gaming console or your PC, it's about entering that world of Tron. Well, kind of, it's about entering that augmented or virtual reality world. And there's a lot of things at play here so let's break it down so you don't feel nervous or have anxiety about what this thing is. The more we find out about it, the easier it's going to be for you to understand it and decide if you, like me, want to invest or don't want to invest. But at least you'll be well aware. So if you've ever played Roblox or Fortnite or, I don't know, Second Life, if you've ever played any one of those games, that experience of being in the metaverse is very similar to that. It's experiencing that world around you, right? It's not real it's augmented or virtual the thing about the metaverse is it's not here yet there's a whole lot of business to be had there's a whole lot of businesses being made and companies being you know developed and even real estate being sold you can buy a house next to snoop dogg for a little under four hundred thousand dollars so it's really crazy and it really is a whole new world so number one is you can start to invest in crypto currency and as the metaverse is there is a vice president that invented the internet but if you remember when the internet was coming around no one really knew how it was going to do or be or develop or if we had a crystal ball at that time i would probably dump all of my money in a few companies right but we don't really know which way it's going to go so it's still beyond our it's meta knowledge right now. We, we don't really know. There's a lot of speculation still in the marketplace. So one way is to go ahead and start to invest in cryptocurrencies. And I say invest, but you know, cryptocurrency is not really an investment, but buy cryptocurrency and then hold it because that is going to be the way the metaverse operates. It's going to be able to buy and sell things based on cryptocurrency. So that's one way of investing in the metaverse is by investing in the monetary way of exchanging goods and services in the meta. So the more crypto you have, the more you can afford to buy in this augmented world that's supposedly starting, right? The second way is to actually invest in the platforms. So there's gonna be multiple platforms and nobody really knows which platform's gonna take off, but there are two main ones. One is Decentraland and the other one is Sandbox. And both of them, are platforms and within those platforms there are a ton of different items so look into both of those to kind of figure out what you predict which platform was going to end up winning the meta wars you can start to buy nfts and nfts could be art it could be clothing it could be songs it could be real estate so if you start to invest in nfts then you have more and more collateral in this meta universe it's just one more way you can invest or start to invest now if you have a painting in an NFT, you have something in that world that's going to become relevant one day. Buying digital land, the thought process that it's limited supply and that there's scarcity, that one day it's going to run out. And so people are buying up all kinds of digital land out there, depending on the platform they're gonna to choose to eventually hold their land. That's another way you can buy up a ton of real estate. There's even you know metaverse houses people are buying. So you can invest in those as well. It would be the same as investing in a house, location, location, location. If your celebrity lives there, your metaverse house is probably gonna be worth more because it's in a neighborhood with an established A-lister. You can also invest in companies such as Facebook or Amazon or Microsoft that are also starting to structure out the meta universe. And so the companies, for example, Facebook is now called Meta. You start to put more and more of your investing dollars and in stocks that those companies have in the thought process that it's going to continue to develop in the meta universe and therefore because you're heavily invested in those stocks as their profitability increases if you have a metaverse big bang then you can cash out before i get into the next one go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that subscribe button and let the algorithm know that our content is worthy so i can continue to make more content like this you can invest in etfs or index funds that primarily represent companies that invest in the metaverse 
So I want you to decide by asking yourself, is the metaverse a fad? And if it's a fad like Squid Games or Pokemon or whatever, or is it a trend? And if it's a trend, when is it going to go mainstream? And so that, that's a question that you have to ask. I know it's highly speculative. And so my theory on this is if huge companies are investing in it, it's probably not just a fad. Could big companies be wrong? Absolutely. In the early 2000s, when the dot-com companies went into becoming the dot-gone companies, there was a lot of things that were ahead of its time. So is it the right time? Make that play in your mind. Are you going to invest in the fad stage? Or are you going to invest in the trend stage? Or are you going to invest when it becomes mainstream? There's a lot of speculation in the marketplace when it comes to meta. It's not fully designed out. No one knows who's going to win the meta wars or whose platform is going to reign supreme or where the real direction of the metaverse is going. So because of the highly speculative arena that this is, like nobody really knows which way it's going to go, you could end up losing a lot of money or gaining a lot of money. Just know that it's probably five to 10 years away. And so there's a lot of people in theory, saying all this is going to happen. But remember, all this is based on human behavior. And it depends on how human beings are going to react to all of this. There's a lot of people that are pent up right now because of the pandemic and they're at home and they've been at home for almost two years. And people might want to actually live in a real world and actually go out and be at a real park or go to a real beach and experience real water. You never know how that's going to turn out, right? or have a real cake. There's something about reality that I think human beings still enjoy. And so, you know, is it the virtual world that people are going to, you know, live more and more in? Or do they want something tangible and touchable? And, you know, are they are society going to go more one way or the other? And no one has a crystal ball to really know. It really is trying to live in a gaming world. And now I'm probably going to get some fluff, but I'm not one way or the other. And every time something new comes in as far as investing, I try to stay open and look at the facts. So stay open, look at the facts. But one of the things that I'm kind of mm, not so sure about is scarcity. If it's beyond the universe, then why would there be scarcity in the land? Or why would they? How could you run out of you know, space in the metaverse? I'm just thinking those things. And if you have the answer to that, go ahead and comment down below and you know, give me some feedback as to why you think there's scarcity enough so that if I miss out on buying a house next to Snoop Dogg, I won't ever get a chance to buy another piece of land next to Snoop Dogg. I want to know your thoughts, quite honestly. And because of all of those things, decide. This is your hard-earned dollars. Do you want the opportunity of the future and get back meta dollars? Or do you want reality to set in? One piece of advice I'll leave you with, with a little uh-huh, is if you haven't bought an investment in the real world, if you haven't bought a house in the real world, if you haven't bought an apartment building in the real world, why are you so eager to buy it in the virtual world? Make sure that you have sound investments in this world and then you can go beyond in the other world to get more investments. Make it just a little bit of a sprinkling here and there in the meta. And as it goes and continues, maybe there's opportunity. But don't put all of your real world dollars into the virtual world yet. If you like the content that I just gave you, hit that subscribe button.